U.S. signs peace deal with Taliban after nearly two decades of war in Afghanistan. The U.S. and the Taliban have struck a deal that paves the way for eventual peace in Afghanistan. U.S. Special Representatives Al Khalil Zad and the head of the militant Islamist group, Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar, signed the potentially historic agreement Saturday in Doha, Qatar, where the two sides spent months hashing out its details. Under the terms of the deal, the U.S. commits to withdrawing all of its military forces and supporting civilian personnel, as well as those of its allies, within 14 months. The drawdown process will begin with the U.S. reducing its troop levels to 8,600 in the first 135 days and pulling its forces from five bases. The rest of its forces, according to the agreement, will leave within the remaining nine and a half months. The Afghan government also will release up to 5,000 Taliban prisoners as a gesture of goodwill, in exchange for 1,000 Afghan security forces held by the Taliban. We owe a debt of gratitude to America's sons and daughters who paid the ultimate sacrifice in Afghanistan, and to the many thousands who served over the past nearly 19 years," General Mark A. Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, said in a statement celebrating the deal, which comes on the heels of a seven-day reduction in violence agreement in Afghanistan. The only responsible way to end the war in Afghanistan is through a negotiated political settlement. Today is a reflection of the hard work of our nation's military, the U.S. Department of State, intelligence professionals, and our valued partners," he added. The United States is committed to the Afghan people, and to ensuring that Afghanistan never becomes a safe haven for terrorists to threaten our homeland and our allies. The U.S. intends, along with members of the United Nations Security Council, to remove members of the Taliban from the sanctions list with the aim of achieving this objective by May 29, 2020, and Washington, in particular, aims to remove the group from U.S. sanctions by August 27, 2020.